Hey there again, guys. Uh, this is Sam again, and the old fuck reporting in. Uh, we're here now, and we are going doing part three of our little canarium thing we got going on here. And uh, as you know from the last uh, part, we left off in this here private room, and we are trying to open up this bad boy that supposedly has the little uh, this thing that has the robot head in it. So, um. Here we go, we open this bad thing up, bad boy up, or whatever, and he, what we see here is, um, these, what are these, green? What are these, is this green colors? This light glowing color, whatever the hell it is, I don't know, I'm colorblind, kind of, well, I am colorblind, and we see these red lines floating by the bottom, so what we are, um, thinking is that we need to align them together, okay? So, um, let's, let's, let's do that real quick, um, trying to remember which is what does this do let's see so this changes the size of them okay that looks about right doesn't it okay it looks like that looks right just about per we just need to get it moving at the right speed now whoa oh so something happened oh i think we got the first one we did the first one so now we need to do it again so we need to make them smaller it looks like one more. That looks good, right? Or, there we go. Yeah, yeah. That's it. And now we need to make them go faster. One more. Oh, we need to do it. Okay. What? They're not small enough, are they? There we go. There we go. Okay. Got it. Oh. So, wow. now we'll leave. We hear something burning or... Yep. Sounds like popcorn. So I'm trying I don't to know. get out. So now we'll do this. Oh! oh hey! <laughs> we right. got it. It does that mess thing. Oh! Uh oh. That's very creepy, isn't it? Uh, he has yeah. lips on his forehead. Hello. No, don't turn off! Did I just push it again? That was a bit strange. Oh, oh shit! I forgot to. Oh, light his eye up. Oh. Yeah, I forgot Our to light him up. Thing is... There we go. Okay, I have my light on this time. Like that, yeah, like that picture. Look, he has nothing in his fucking eye sockets, man. There we go. Who are you? There we go. Who are you? Who are you? I'm, I'm Frank. Frank Gilman. Is that so? <laughs> uh, like, Is that like so? Jack, Is yeah. there a problem with that? My name is Frank Gilman, Ooh. an anthropologist joining this expedition upon the invitation of my venerable Dr. Faust himself. Uh, this thing is claiming that it's me. That's absurd. Why? Uh, let's see what to say. Hmm. Yeah, you're just a fucking you're machine. Claiming that you are me, Frank Gilman, but you are just a machine. <laughs> he just blinked at me. <laughs> the fuck? And you are just air. Oh, he got Ooh. me! Damn. Ooh. What do you mean? Yeah. Dude? What do you mean by that? It doesn't answer me. Fucking thing. Hmm. Where is everybody? They are here. Oh, they are here. Uh. I don't see anybody around. This guy are must be sure? blind, dude. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> He's sure. <laughs> What do you know about Dr. Faust? He is the grand mastermind and the pioneer of this expedition. He's a fucking mastermind, uh, wow. Okay, Frank. Tell me why are you here exactly? I am here because of my extensive knowledge on the human pineal gland. I am one of the canarinots. Canarinots, huh. Just like the game. Huh. Canarinot? Voyagers beyond. Ooh. 
That's cool. Beyond? What beyond? No answer. Fucking thing. Right, looks uh -oh. like I found a secret. Hey. Oh, that's not mm. secrets. Whoops. There we go. This is secrets. Ah, that strange device fascinated me and horrified me in equal measure. It seems that it's able to reply to my questions with logical answers, but how could that be possible? Its eyes were so devoid of meaning that they disturbed me deeply. Above all, after speaking with it, I sense explicitly a feeling of forlornness, as if loneliness is starting to give way to such singularities, signifying that I shall continue to be a stranger inside this desolate place, all alone for some time. Mm. Self-operating machine I found in Dr. Blake's room. Oh. Can we talk to him again? <laughs> talk to me! Uh, it's the same thing, no, right? Nothing, yeah, nothing new. Huh. What? It's just strange. Alright, let's get out of this place. Yeah, let's do a few more rooms to look in. Yeah, let's get out of this fucking yeah, robot, dude. Yeah. Alright, what do we got? We haven't gone in Barlow's, have no, we? No, no, no. Okay, locked. Barlow's okay. locked. Medicine cabinet. Xylopin. I guess we'll check Faust or oh wow we got two big decisions Let's do here. Do Faust first. Can't. Uh, uh, that makes things down. easy. Can I lock my door? <laughs> I don't remember where my keys are. Well, fuck! Don't uh, you hate when you lose dear. your damn keys yeah. in the Antarctic expeditions? Yeah. Anything over here? Drugs. What were the That's drugs? What were drugs doing in a box? Yeah, lots of pills and lots of books and lots of pencils. I guess. Well, they need the pencils. They're on a damn expedition, man. <laughs> so I guess we're headed upstairs now. Uh, I guess. Have I we guess. have we checked everything out down here? Or? Crew, we've checked the crew room. Yeah, what, is out of there. what is this? What is this? Living hallway. quarters. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. All right. And uh, what's this? What's what's right here? That's the infirmary and all that again. We've gone here. Yeah, we went. In. That's where the elevator is. That's and then this is back towards where we came from first, yep. right? Yeah. So we have to go this way. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Up the elevator. Find some more keys. No. <laughs> Can't open this. Yeah, it's uh -huh. Storage. Shock hazard. Huh. There's a bottle of what is that in there? Don't know Two what that is. And a flashlight. Oh, oh look. what was that? That just flickered. What if we can get in here now? Uh -huh. oh. Weird. I suppose we'll just continue down this way. Oh, were we able to get in here? Nope. Can't no, get in there. Not. Can't get in there still. Okay, so I guess we'll just get on up in the elevator, huh? Yep. Here we go. Let's move! It's going down. Uh, oh, uh, shit. That's uh, not uh, the way uh, I wanted uh, to go. Uh, <laughs> fucking thing. I wonder if the handle you turn turn a different way. Yeah, Who knows, uh, man. Uh, well, that's not the way I wanted to go, but whatever. Uh, oh. Let's see what we got. A lot of nothing. Why do we have so yeah. many boxes? That's what I want to know. It's supplies boxes. of some sort. Okay, so we're up here to be under the base, and there is this what very is weird a tree, tree in a greenhouse. In what looks to be yeah, some type of greenhouse type thing. Okay, let's see what this is. Can we open this? Locked. Let's go down this way. Is this a way out somewhere? Uh, it's stuck. Also stuck. What was this? Ah! Ah! Provisional camp. Oh, let's just. 
X Temple of oh, Temple Flooded Caves Base. Um, provisional camp equipment was deployed to the underground caverns below the base without any problem. So these are caverns. Mm -hmm. Submarines also were great. They are fast, maneuverable. Beyond my predictions, we've started exploring some parts of the underwater passages, but it is slow going. Wow. So this is going to be interesting, isn't it? That's interesting. Yeah. Let's see. Types of symbols there are. That door there. Anything down here we can pick up? No. Uh, There's those symbols again. Yeah. So this has to be. I was gonna. You just walk past the door. Yeah, I know. I know. They say the five pointed objects, but these mm -hmm. obviously aren't. We made these, right? When we built this place. Right? I guess. I because, guess I mean, aliens I didn't know. build this place and put these fucking caution things with all right. their personnel. Yeah, you know what I mean? Alright, alright. All right. So I'm just wondering, like, come on. It won't open. Let's see what we got here. Oop, what? Expedition handbook. Let's read this bad boy. Derby Pickman. <laughs> Schneider Foundation, 48 to 49. Okay. Good enough for me, right? What is through here? Oh, this one no, opens. What do you know? Well, do you want to go look everywhere else first? No, let's go ahead and look in this room first, and we'll go around. Oh, all right, that one's locked. Let's stop. Oh, oh fuck! <laughs> it's that motherfucker again. <laughs> Follow him. Hold on. Oh, come on now. Stop. We got the floor elevator here. Hold on. That's where we just came. Oh, is in. that where we came yeah, out? That's where we came oh, it in. is. Okay. So this guy was over here, yeah. huh? The link elevator. What's this beer? Fucking dude is pissing me off, man. Look, he everywhere he leaves shit trails everywhere he goes, like <laughs> gas. What's this on the ground? So you want to go through here, huh? Uh, let's. Yeah. Well, no, we'll go this way first. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go do this thing over All here right. because we opened up the bio yeah. lab, and that's interesting shit, and right? So, that's cool. Yeah, we also want to see if we can get in and look at that tree. Too. Oh, that's right. We have to go look yeah, at the tree. Fuck. Okay, so we got some type of spores. So we got that some spores in the air. Yeah, just dust and stuff. Or there. it could be spores. The, Look uh, at them. No. Oh, it's not be. dust. Could be. Jeez. Little Ooh, jellyfish mushrooms. mushrooms. Okay. Oh. Uh, Origin of the Canarium. Dr. Faust is very tight-lipped about how he came up with that strange exploration device he built long ago. The only thing he has told me is that he came across some shunned and forbidden volumes about a device of extraterrestrial origin. But again, these sources do not hint that any existed on Earth except in the dreams of those who liked to chew a certain alkaloidal herb. The sessions we hold in the meeting room to adapt our nervous systems to the alien impulses of the machine were frightening at first. If used too much, it affects the body to a breaking, po to breaking point. But now I'm used to its non-human sensations. I've started to feel like the device is clearing my mind to make it absorb much more than ever before. I feel unconfined and much more receptive. Um, uh, the, but the most peculiar aspect of the sessions are that, because it is a shared experience, I am able to receive impressions, ideas, and even memories which belong to other participants. Usually my mind wanders after the sessions end, and I cannot focus my thoughts until I have slept for several hours. A strange device surely disorients feelings, bodily functions, but I believe what it offers is of immense importance. Um, so who wrote this? Documents. It's not my journal, so I didn't write it. So it doesn't say who wrote that? Whoever the biologist was, I don't know who that was. Ah. We got a lot of stuff to look at right yeah. here, yeah. yeah. Hold on. I want this drawer, retarded drawer. Okay, let's check this stuff out. Oh! oh. Music box. Music we'll box? check that after these. Yeah. Um, there's a problem with one of the freezers freezers I've, I've labeled heard. it it must be checked immediately okay. oh god Whoa, what was that hello kitty cat the familiar that, that I talked about in that other do you think it could be yeah why it trolls the lower it's a black cat and so it's a stereotypical which is familiar really yes what did what did the note say upstairs again do I have it I think you have it don't you would it be in documents or journal oh goodness I don't um, not there. Not 
Not there, not there, not there. It was a poem. It was something. It was part of a poem about seven rooms. Yes, I remember what it was. Maybe it is in my journal. No, documents. it's not in my journal. Secrets? Couldn't be in the secrets, could it? Guess we're not gonna re find out what it is. No, we check documents first. Uh, uh, whatever. We all oh, we know okay. is that there was. Did it actually say cat though? No, it just said the familiar. Oh, that's right, familiar. So, yeah. it happened when we tried to look at this, digging something up in Egypt, huh? Yeah. New comp site, campsite, site campsite yeah. established, waiting for new samples. New samples. Can't read that. Looks uh, like pages from. Uh... Oh, what's, what's the document called? What? Oh, I'd have to look it up. I can't remember. Was it some Indian thing? No, it was something. It's, it was believed to be a forged document, but it was something uh, made in Europe. Okay, alright, here we go. I need a phonograph cylinder. I need a phonograph cylinder? Oh, so we need a phonograph cylinder. What happens if we... Little cat. Call, go over to the cat. Can't fuck with it at all. It he's, likes, just, he's just he's messing around. Right light, though, doesn't it? He's just messing around. I suppose he does. Can't he's do looking anything. into the light. Just yes, like, he is. You are correct. Just like uh, that uh, head up in the. Uh, oh, you're room. right. Well, that's true. Into, you're right can't about get that. that drawer? I'll try. Yeah, let's try. Well, I thought you tried that with logs. Like logs. Oh. Weird. Oh. My canarium thing's going fucking crazy, dude. Wow. What is that? Oh, look at that. Something's... What's it doing? It's like something's peeling off the window. What do I do? I don't know. I need a phonograph cylinder. Weird, man. What, yeah. do I, what am I fucking supposed to do? Oh, maybe it's in here. Phonograph cylinder. Oh, I thought we checked. Did we check? Oh. I don't think I even checked these drawers at all. Oh, there we there go. There you go. Here it is. Check the other drawer, too. Yeah, I will. There we go. Yep, that's the phonograph cylinder. Nothing there. Alright. Was there other drawers? Nope. Well, here we go. Alright, let's check it out. Unfortunately, one of our researchers, C. Lenning, <gasps> was found dead in the bio lab last Tuesday. So he died here. Cause of death yeah. is currently uncertain, but judging by the accumulation of a mass of green substance found in his mouth and throat area, yeah. Dr. Barlow, a tree came our in his mouth, the expert, <laughs> thinks that Lenning was smothered by small, sticky, greenish clumps that look like pollen. Belonging to the living samples of the plant Sahiti. So we are it's breathing in. During the uh, yes, apparently so. Alkaloid Dr. that's going to make us trip yeah. balls. We'll perform a post mortem examination on his body soon. We are about to start tripping balls, dude. Yeah. Journal has been updated. Okay. Hold on. Oh, okay, so that's just that. Okay. Can you walk over that panel and see what that spark is? Is it something we can fix? Or push? No. Just It's locked. Okay, uh. That's we weird. Go back out. We, we must be like. We can't do anything to that uh, thing that was in the middle of the room, can we? That had that arch shape. This one. It's like this one's just. Yep. Um, that thing. This? Yeah, oh, yeah, can that's do right. To that? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, we can. Only on the front. Okay. Oh, use that. Oh, uh, that's our lever. Thing. Yep. Oh, oh. No. Oh, dear. That's. Guess we're going to look at it. Yeah, I guess. Uh oh. Please don't spray your trippy yeah, substances everywhere. Don't release your particles. <laughs> 
no! Whoa! Uh oh. <coughs> yep. Uh oh. <coughs> Tripping out, man. Yep. Guess we need to get out of that room. <laughs> Can we get out of here? Yeah. Whoa! It's going crazy, dude. <gasps> You do anything with the cat now? Nothing. No. What is that though? It's an alien voice, I think, isn't it? Something like that. Yeah. It's just played through there. Oh gosh. Uh-oh. I can't get away from it. Oh, the flower seems to have died or something. Uh-oh. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> Whoa! Little tentacles That's on creepy. its face. Yeah. So you think that was the familiar? Uh, Look, it's clear. Oh, Ooh, now it's clear in there now. Can you open that door? Whoa! I would guess oh, yeah. so. Oh uh -oh. shit! Uh oh, that's not good. What is it doing to us? Run, run, run! Can I can't. <laughs> I can't fucking do a thing. We're fucked. Don't let it absorb you. Oh shit! Yeah, I can. Leave. Yeah, but what? Oh. Oh no. What the hell? Oh dear, that doesn't look good, does it? That's where where he died, I suppose. Oh, that's look at big. this. It's all nice in there now. Huh, yeah. Okay. I must be in one of those canarium dreams. Huh. Maybe, yeah. Push the flashing button. I, I wonder what that is. I can't. Oh, I can't. oh, look at that. The growing flowers? I wonder if those are the... Oh, yes. These are the pre-human species we found frozen in a cave far south of the base. Oh. These are... This is an animal? Or a, so. a being? Yeah. Sure what? Being. Are they eggs or... Oh, yes. Oh, wow. These are the pre-human species we found Ooh, frozen in a cave far with. south of the base. Can I? Oh. Okay, yeah. Oh, no. yes. These are oh, the pre-human species we found no. frozen in a cave far huh. south of the base. Okay, well... Oh, they have that star-shaped head, yeah. Yeah. There's another flashlight and yeah. pointing straight to him. Yeah. Oh, let's check him out. Oh, dear. Who is this? It's impossible to determine with so much decomposition. I searched him. Key, though. Yeah, I did. I suppose so. And a note. Mm. We have finally finished excavating the monolith that was silently waiting for a soul to see it again. Situated within the circular building, we reached the Link Elevator. That magnificent piece of carving was buried halfway down under a mound of debris, and most probably could have been written in the earliest pages of history. I cannot describe exactly my feelings for the first time when I stood aghast, contemplating that gigantic stonework inside of those time-worn halls of silence. Time-worn halls of silence. Only God knows how many ages have passed since its initial carving. Dust thinking, just thinking about it, its age sense shivers down my spine. Which civilization could have constructed such a grandeur? Now, waving a forlorn goodbye without giving away the secrets of its masters? Uh... Furthermore, even though most of them are damaged beyond repair, we spotted some symbols re resembling the rock art of the Sahara Desert in the southeast, Algeria. Um, what was I going to say? We don't have any strong evidence to suggest anything, but Cornwall Blake clings mostly to the continental drift theory. In any case, we don't have enough data on its age, but it is evident that history needs to be rewritten yet again. So it sounds like a big discovery, huh? It's an anonymous note, apparently. Yep. Let's get the fuck out of here. Yep. Oh, never mind. Looks you like it's the same. You can go into that unlocked door again. Yeah, this one? Locked door, you mean? 
Oh, oh yeah, we there we go. Hello. Oh, static. Oh. Whoa, something in. Uh, oh. oh. Hey, dude, there it is. Uh -oh. It's a fucking thing. That's one of those life forms. Small, yeah. though, isn't it? It's fucking really small. I have to fuck with this, don't I? Maybe, I don't know. Well, actually, I've never seen the... won't let me mess with anything else. What do I have to do? I want to clear your head. Oh, okay, just get up close. Look at that, man. Oh. Indian dream catchers. I believe no more can we harbor ourselves on the safest shores, for there are things that cannot be undone. I think you should retire to your room. I I am going to think a bit more. Maybe it's that moth thing. Look, it has wings. Yeah. Looks like that. Oh, wow. Agartha. Agartha. Antarctica, the southernmost continent in sight of the South Pole, is virtually uninhabited, ice covered landmass. Most cruises to the continent visit the Antarctic Peninsula. Uh, which stretches towards South America. It is known for the Lemaire Channel and Paradise Harbor, striking iceberg, flanked passageways, and Port Lockroy, a former British research station turned museum. The peninsula's isolated terrain also shelters rich wildlife, including many penguins. The rest of the text is illegible. Agartha. And this thing. Nova et Integra. Some Latin. Old map. Look at that. Mm, that's, that's a cool picture. Look, yeah. It's crazy. Huh. Can't use my flashlight. Or my canarium. Mm. What in the world? What is the that? Big body holding a small body. It looks like it's crushing it. Ooh. It's got a horrible looking expression on its face. What is that thing? Yeah, it has a terrible expression. Like it's is just it... bitten the head off of... Uh... Looks like it's eating its arm or something. No, there's two arms. No, there's it the... looks like it's eating the, the person's oh, arm. Oh, yeah, like it ate his head off and now it's eating his arms. That is fucking Ew. creepy, dude. It is. Oh, there you go. Oh. Huh. Hmm. <laughs> Why are there fake drapes right there? <laughs> what is that picture of? Uh, that's a famous painting. Oh, look at that. Yeah. What is that? That's cow? a real painting. I th no, it's a. Weird goblin sitting on her. Yeah. Ten o two. Oh yeah, ten past ten. I mean, not ten o two. That time might be significant. Ten past ten. Is that what it says? Ten past ten. We'll go take a little look at. It. Let's make sure. But yeah. Oh look, another picture. 
Is that another dude eating someone again, or? A demon's fighting with a with a man, I guess. Doesn't look like I a demon. I don't recognize that painting, though. Wait, go back to the clock first, and then we'll go down it. Why? Yeah. I didn't see this one. That's a weird thing. Two. It's a dome, it looks like. Alright, this uh, seems like as good of a time as ever to end this episode. It's already been 30 minutes. I don't want to make them super low. Oh, I can't. Great. <laughs> okay, let's get through here then. Look at this picture. I like that. She's hanging. Got a duffel bag right there. Another door. Coffin. Can you I cannot bag? open the no. bag. I can open this door. It's no. locked. Never mind. Nothing. Check out these pictures. There's a tree. There's that weird horse thing. Yeah. So from another angle, that same picture. Uh huh. Yeah. I don't know if that painting. Either that or it's painted. just literally a mirror image of it. Yeah. Hmm. Locked. It's locked. Alright, a little sh ship right there. See if you can get into one of those drawers there. there. No. no. Locked. Oh. There we go. Locked. That's weird, the gateway. No, it's not. Uh, Oh. oh! That's not good. Yeah, alright, yeah, we're stuck. Oh no! Oh goodness. Green ooze of some sort. Gas, green gas. <laughs> with chunks. You produce it. a lot of green gas <laughs> with chunks, don't you? <laughs> A freak whippersnapper. Oh, look, where are we? Where the hell are we? Oh, we're in where? We're back in it. When did we come in here? Journal has been updated. Uh, First Canarium event and a brief visit to the past. I'm at a complete loss for words. Simple remarks are insufficient to express my feelings right now. Was it a premonition or a vision? How should I interpret all of this? I don't know exactly. Suddenly, I found myself drifting into a familiar room. Room that was long buried in my graveyard of memories, scribed on epitaphs of things long past. Well, that was interesting, and we were definitely not here when uh, we came into this weird yeah, vision. Yeah, the room was thing. a little bit different. Condition. No, we were downstairs, man, oh, okay. and we started tripping by the cat, or the right. familiar, rather. That's anyway, bad. um. Oh, we never get to this. It's a tree. This is as best a place as now to uh, end this episode. So thanks for watching three, everybody, and we will see you in the next one.